Okay, this is the multifunction timer. As you can see, all the inputs here. These are important. <laughs> Dang it, CJ. That right there, your decimals, the location of your seconds. We have 1 to 99 seconds, 0 0.1 seconds to 99.9 .9 seconds, and then 1 to 99 minutes. So it will go a long amount of time. Okay, so I got mine all wired up here, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So these two are your trigger. A trigger is something that activates your timer. So you have a set time. All I would do, I have mine set to five seconds. Counts down, two, one. All I did was I have normally open, close it, enables power to run, positive, negative. Okay, this is your main power supply. You can use whatever you want. I got a 12 volt battery here. So um, it's rated five volts to 30 volts. The trigger power is rated thir three to 24 volts. So you could run the trigger off of your main source by just putting a jumper from here to there. So you can do that if you want, if you want to use that as your power source. I like a separate one because it's not a whole lot of power you're giving to it. Anyways, um, so got my positive lead running into the positive, negative of the battery. And then you take a wire, jump it across. The middle's your common, so you want it to be your common power from the battery. And then you have normally open or normally close. This means when I press it, it'll either close the circuit or it'll open the circuit. This is normally closed without the trigger power. So when I press the trigger power, it closes this side and opens this side for the amount of time that I have. So I wanted it to turn this on. This is basically just a mini battery voltage reader. Um, so I have my normally open power running to the battery. The battery reader is positive. And then the negative of the battery reader, I have it just touching the contact of the ground on the battery. So it works like so. Boom, I can see my battery voltage for five seconds, then it'll shut off. And you can use that for whatever. Many different settings here. You can pause the video and read all that if you'd like. Different options to do. I'm using this one. How you change it is you go in, you hold your setting down, the flash, you can pick between it. It shows you what OP means and all those special things. Anyways, then I can change my time. Here's where I would change my decimal and time right there. So if I want to move the decimal, I can do um, stop. Yep. So stop moves the decimal. See, right now there's one dot there, one dot in the middle, and then three dots. And that means it's changing it for those seconds to minutes. So, and then when you're done, give it a hold. Okay, now it's ready to go. The countdown. I think I said it accidentally for 50 minutes so i'm not gonna wait for that to turn down but anyways that is how the multi-function timer i got it from 
MPJA. Recommend them for a good price. There you go.